Hi guys, this is Daniel Rosal here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. The weather has finally turned nice and wintry here in Israel, which means that, like many people these days, my idea of a good night has turned to staying inside, cozying up to my mazgan, and watching some television. I know that I've done a few videos about this topic before, but they're a little bit long, and as usual, I probably included too much detail. It's a bad habit, and I've started writing scripts lately to try and make these videos a bit more focused. So today I wanted to share my method for improving my Hebrew through YouTube again in the hope that it can help other learners to use this fun and low effort method for improving vocabulary. Of course, going out and actually speaking the language is vital to success, but personally I find that knowing that I have a richer vocabulary under my belt boosts my confidence and it all feeds into the slow process of becoming more fluent in this language. I've been using this method for a few months now and I can already feel that I've learned lots of useful vocabulary through it. So I wanted to share what I found with other Olim or anyone in general who's learning modern Hebrew. A few months ago I discovered that you can automatically translate subtitles on YouTube. The catch is that this isn't available on all languages yet, at least if you're accessing YouTube from a smartphone app or from a smart TV. So for the moment, this methodology only works if you're prepared to watch YouTube on a non-mobile device, such as a desktop computer or more realistically a laptop. The second catch is that this only seems to work if subtitles have been manually added. In other words, it doesn't work from automatic subtitles, but if a YouTube or a YouTube channel has uploaded a video with subtitles in Hebrew and you're watching YouTube on something like a laptop, then you can automatically translate those subtitles into English and use that as a means to improve your Hebrew. The reason this discovery was so exciting to me is that this feature, which is still relatively new, has opened up a whole new world of content in Hebrew that I can now watch and understand with the help of subtitles. As I explained in my last video, there isn't a massive amount of video content published in Hebrew and which has English subtitles manually added. There are shows, of course, like Stiesel and Fauda, but if you also like learning languages this way, it's still relatively easy to exhaust this limited pool of content. Fortunately, there is a decent amount of content being uploaded to YouTube in Hebrew with Hebrew subtitles. And once we can translate those subtitles into our native language, it makes for a fun and pretty effortless way to learn or improve the language. So to save other learners the hassle of having to track down this material across YouTube, that is Hebrew content with Hebrew subtitles, I built a pretty big playlist with about two and a half thousand videos, which anybody can access. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Feel free to bookmark it, but if you misplace it, you can search for Hebrew with Hebrew subtitles and you'll hopefully find it. The playlist draws a lot from content uploaded by Can Digital. Can is the brand name for Israel's public broadcaster, and Can Digital is their online only publishing arm. Most of the video clips are short, under 10 minutes generally, and they consist of topical programming about public affairs and just generally interesting stuff happening in Israel. I am a big, big fan of the stuff they produce. To turn on the English subtitles, firstly, as I mentioned, access the playlist from a desktop computer. Next, click into settings, which is the little cogwheel icon at the bottom of the video. Then click on subtitles slash CC. Then select auto translate. And then finally select the language you'd like to see the subtitles in. The auto translate feature will automatically translate the subtitles into another language in real time. So if your first language is French or Russian or German or any other language supported by Google Translate, then you can also use this method to translate these subtitles into the language that's best for you for learning. I hope this video was helpful. If you know someone else trying to improve their Hebrew, then please consider sharing this video and the playlist with them so that it can be a resource to as many learners out there as possible. And thank you for watching.